Hello everybody, my name is Prestige, and today I'm going to show you how to download Xcode for Swift. Now if you don't know what Swift is, Swift is a new program language made by Apple, so you can make apps for iPhone and iPad and etc. So I'm going to be showing you how to download it. So first of all, you'll need Xcode. That's the program that runs Swift. Now you're going to have to go to the App Store, it looks like this, then you have to go to the search bar, type in Xcode, okay, type in Xcode, oh my god, okay, okay, Xcode, and then you'll find this, click on it just to be sure it's the right one, and it looks like this. Then download it. I already downloaded it, so you know I already have it. So just download it, and it's completely free. You don't have to pay anything, and you'll also need a Mac. So it's kind of obvious because I'm using a Mac right now. But you'll need a Mac, and then once you downloaded it, just open it right here. And then. A screen should pop up, this screen. It'll say welcome to Xcode and your recent projects. We're not going to be using that right now, but I already have some projects. We're going to click on get started with the new playground. And playgrounds, they're kind of a new concept, well, thing in Xcode 6. This is Xcode 6. It's basically where you can test your ideas. So you don't have to debug it all the time. You can just test it and it automatically appears. So just click on it. It's going to ask you for a name. I'm just going to say test playground. Keep it as OSX. Then click next. I'm just going to put it in desktop. Then I'm just going to slide it a bit. And you should get a screen that looks like this. So that's basically it. That's this is basically the playground. In the next episode, I'm gonna be showing you like you know how to use the playground. And yeah, so comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode. So bye.